welcome. Thank you everyone for coming. I see that a lot of people are already here. I imagine there are a lot of new people. Very nice to see all of you. I'm Lisa Mitrokin, and this is my lovely assistant, Tech Support. Hello. I am doing wonderful technology things this evening, and all of you get to help me out. Magical, magical technology things. <laughs> because we'll need all the magical technology help today since we have a live guest, a very special guest, the reason that you're all here, Albert Jones, the man who brought us Black Widow pencils. Super cool, super excited. Super excited. And of course, to celebrate this amazing event, I'll be coloring Black Widow herself. I asked Albert what would be a good subject for our stream, and of course, we thought of Black Widow. She's so I know, isn't she? Oh, so we had this whole thing with Albert about, do you want like a close up of her face or like her whole suit? Cause her suit's also really sexy. So I ended up doing this picture where you have both the close up of the face and the full body shot with the suit. And this page of course is available in my Facebook group, Tom. The link is in the video description below. So if you don't have this page already, uh, go join my group and you'll see it as one of the top posts and it's probably a marked announcement and it's also in one of the albums or the admins will help you find it. I don't think you'll be able to miss it. It's a pretty hot item there right now. So grab your page, print it and color along with us. Or, you know, this stream will remain active and recorded for years and years and years to come. So you can always replay it and just enjoy the show now. So some of you just saw my first technology thing. We have a bot in the channel tonight and it just muted somebody. I'm, I apologize, Joe Beth. <laughs> Joe Beth. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Joe Beth is the rule breaker. Oh man, yeah. Oh. So let me let me go and, and deal with that. What did she say? She didn't say anything. I think she was just talking too much and it was like, oh, I'm going to mute you for five seconds. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Okay, we have, we have a new bot. He's called Nightbot. And he's not trained yet, but we'll be training him during the stream. He will be making announcements and hopefully he will help us with the giveaways as well. Because one of the amazing things about today's stream is that we'll have three giveaways where each winner will get a special prize that Albert will tell us all about. And so after we have the interview, we will also be running giveaways and hopefully the bot will help us. If not, we do have backup plans. Regardless, cat herding Hang will on. happen. Night, Nightbot's going crazy. Nightbot's <laughs> going crazy. I'm going to fix Nightbot. I'm really sorry. I don't... <laughs> what the hell? Is he muting people? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I'm going to take... So we... I, I have seen Nightbot in other people's streams. I see him in Emily's stream mostly. And usually he's very well behaved. He seems to be making announcements and he does catch people for saying certain things or for saying too many things. So I do know that people have to correct him and like tame him a little bit because he does get out of control. Um, but this is our first time with it. So we'll, we'll see okay. how it goes. I just turned off all of the Nightbot spam protection. I don't know what he, I'm sorry. He's, he's a little sensitive. <laughs> So please don't stop writing oh. just because the night bot is a little sensitive. So you turned off all the spam. I turned off all of the spam protection. So hopefully okay. he's gonna... We don't need spam protection here anyway. We've never had any problems in our stream. <laughs> Emily's in. Emily's like, you know, you can adjust all of that. Yes. Yes, Sorry. Emily is the reason Emily. that I know about Nightbot. <laughs> we just installed him literally minutes before the show. So fingers crossed. Let's, let's hope that he behaves. All right, so let me tell you a little bit of a backstory about how this whole thing, this collaboration came to be. It all started way back in February when I was doing a bunch of streams for February, of all the, the fairy events, and I was a diehard Prismacolor user. I, had the, I have the giant 150 pencil Prismacolor set and I used nothing but Prismacolors. And during one of the shows, I had tech support calling out the names for me. And I kept making fun of, of how Prismacolor has really boring pencil names. And some of them don't actually even match the colors. So we started coming up with these crazy names and we called them man colors, like mud and blood and rust. And we kept joking, if only somebody made a pencil set that had such names on, on their pencils. And a bunch of you reached out and said, well, that's Black Widow. You should just get Black Widow pencils. And I had no idea what you guys were talking about. So one of you actually sent me the entire five set collection of Black Widows. Thank you kindly. 
and started a new addiction. I am completely hooked on them now. And the first project that I did uh, with, with my amazing five, um, five box set was um, this drawing and coloring of Harley Quinn. You guys probably remember this video. If you are completely new and have no idea what I'm talking about, the link to this video is in the video description. So after the show, you can watch it. It's, I think it's only 10 minutes long. It's a pre-recorded tutorial that's nicely, sharply edited. So for this one, I actually split my character in half. And this was the original drawing before I even made it into a coloring page. And I did this side with Black Widows and this side with Prisma Colors to see how the skin tones match. And if I can make the whole character look like she had been done with just one pencil type. And it was a huge success. Obviously, you can see that aside from the line in the center of her face, the, the two colors match perfectly. I mean, of course, she has a, a blue ponytail and, and a, a pink ponytail, so, but that's, that's the character. It's not because I'm unable to match colors to that <laughs> spectacular degree. But the, the skin tones matched absolutely perfect. And I really enjoyed the, the whole experience. The, some, there were some drawbacks and some benefits. And in the video, I describe a whole bunch of, um, of pros and cons of, of, both, of both brands. But the result of it was that I just fell madly in love with this, um, with this brand. And that, of course, led to our great and awesome Harley Quinn color along where I started a new tradition of mixing a whole bunch of brands. And that was a really, really big life stream. So that, I think, is also linked in the, in the video description. If not, you can find it on my main channel. And that, in turn, led to um, the survival coloring live stream that we just completed. We did two months of survival coloring live stream. And a lot of you guys joined us there. We had 400 new subscribers come out of the survival coloring live stream. And we had a lot of gift pages, free pages, um, a lot of color alongs, and the whole community just grew and, and bonded. And it was an amazing experience. And after that, the the Harley Quinn video became even more popular. Everyone was watching it and Albert and I started talking about possibly collaborating for something else. So uh, having heard that his new set is about to come out, I proposed that we do a collaboration where I work with the five sets that I have right now, um, describing my experience to you now that I have experience with Black Widow colors, now that I, I've had practice and I actually know what I'm talking about. It's not, it's not an unboxing, it's not my first strokes with these tools, I can actually share what, I, what I've learned over the past several months of working with this brand. And while we are working with the sets that are out and available right now, I happen to have all of them, uh, we'll be talking to Albert and asking him questions about the new set, but also about a whole bunch of other things. My patrons always have the priority of selecting questions for the guests that come on the show. And the patrons have come up with a million questions. I had to cut the list down a little bit short because otherwise we would have Albert here for five hours. So since a lot of questions were kind of repeating, I paraphrased them into single questions that we can ask. And, um, and also we may not be able to get to every single question. We'll see how the conversation flows. But Albert uh, has kindly agreed to remain in the live chat after we get him off the phone so that he will be around to answer your guys' questions as they come up. How is it going with that night bot? Uh, I turn up all the spam. He's fine now. He's so fine. we're good? We're, we're, we're good? good yes. Everything good in the live in chat? <laughs> all right. Um, it really was helpful there. Well, if, if all is going well in technology land, I would like to share with you um, a little bit of what I did on this page before we get Albert on the phone. So as per my tradition, I like to color at least part of the page um, before, before we do the rest of it together. So today we'll be working on the face and the hair of the close-up, but I did this one on my own and I recorded it for you guys. And the main thing that everyone's looking forward to finding, finding out is how I colored the suit without using the color black, because tragically, my black, Black Widow is yay big. So <laughs> I, I didn't want to use it and I had to improvise, although I very, very tragically discovered that I had another black, Black Widow pencil this original, from the very first set, Black Widow called Black Widow, like the original black pencil, but it was hiding from me, so I had no idea I had it. So I had to improvise and use other colors to create this black 
latex leather suit effect and I will show it to you in this flick that we're about to roll. I will also be telling you every single color that I'm using. I'm usually very strong on on telling you guys it doesn't matter what the colors are you know any color will do any brand will do but today is all about black widow pencils and every single color will get every single color that i'm using will get a spotlight and a description and i will give you my honest feedback on it so for the face i started with two basic colors even though i have both skin tone sets i actually have all of my pencils mixed together in a large bin so that i don't necessarily use only skin tones for skin. I just use whatever needs to be used to create the desired effect. The hair, of course, was a major part of this, of this drawing coloring. So I really wanted to bring out the pure red, like this ruby red of her hair. Um, the, the black suit and the red hair was, was my main objective here. So I used several different different reds to achieve that effect. And I was very happy with it. There's also a white pencil in the set, which I've also forgotten about when I started. I started with white charcoal, but then I discovered that there are two white pencils in the Black Widow sets and they work beautifully on toned paper. So I used that to prime the areas of my suit that will be the shiniest. And then I proceeded to color everything the way that I would with black, but with gray. And this again, this technique will work with other brands and with other pencils, but of course today we're focusing specifically on Black Widow. There's several gray tones in the sets. Um, the one that I used, um, you can see the, the colors showing up on the left. I believe it's a color called charcoal, uh, which isn't a charcoal pencil. It's just the name of the pencil is charcoal. And I just colored the entire suit with that gray, which is a really good strategy for dark tones anyway. Anytime that you create objects or animals, um, that are uh, very dark or black, it's a good idea to build up several layers of colors. Like if you're doing black leather, black latex, black hair, black fur, all of that, um, the same technique applies for all of those, for all of those things. So for my second layer, I picked a dark blue, but I picked a bright blue. You can go even darker. There are darker blues in the Black Widow sets. Any one of them will work just as well. For a more comic book effect, I went with a brighter blue because I don't want it to just be photorealistic. I want it to be a little bit comic booky, and that's also how I drew it. My lines are a little bit thicker on this drawing than in my, in my regular drawing technique. Oh, and for my final effect, after I added the blue, my final, final touch was a really dark brown, and there's several really dark browns to choose from. I will go all, all Oh, I will go over all blah, of blah, blah, them. Blah, blah. Speak is hard again. So I have pre-selected. You can see that today I'm actually very organized. I have all of my Black Widow pencils in little jars. This is my collection of pink, orange, and yellow Black Widows from all the sets combined. And I have another jar of blue and purple and another jar of green that's discarded because I hardly ever use green. And these are the ones that I will be using for today's show. They are in my trusty organizer. And these are probably three times as many colors as I will actually end up using, but I like having options. I do make a lot of decisions on the spot. So you will see me making these decisions as I do the skin tone coloring, but I like to organize my selected colors from lighter to darker. So I'm starting with my white and moving on to my lighter skin tones to red for the hair, brown for the shadows, purple for the shadows, very dark brown for shadows and for her suit. And of course, ending, ending with black. And the only other tool that I will be using that's not a Black Widow is of course my white charcoal. I do love priming my paper with white charcoal for the really bright, bright areas. I am working from a photo today um, because Black Widow is an actual character. This is the photo that I'll be working with. And you can see that the, the light effect is quite strong here. There's actually something on fire in front of her. So she has this really strong glow effect on her face and her hair. So I will establish those highlights with my white charcoal. You can also use the, the white that comes in the Black Widow set, but I want to save it because I have lots of this white charcoal and, and only two Black Widow white pencils. So I will start with this and I will be working on the skin tone colors as we call Albert.
So if you guys have any questions for me before we start with the interview, please feel free to ask them in the chat and I will just I will just get started and I will be calling out my colors as they happen. Uh, so feel free to also um, ask me what specific pencil I'm using um, as I'm using it. There you go. Get a real close up on her face. Set up my my reference photo and off we go. We'll start with with the white. Like I said, she has this really nice glow. I'm working on tan toned paper. I know, I know, I know, I know I lied. I told a lot of you that I'll be working on gray and it's because I genuinely believed that I drew this on gray paper because in my mind it was gray. It's, it's actually tan, I'm sorry, but the damage is done and <laughs> it's on tan. And honestly, it, it doesn't make any difference. I did, um, I did this Harley Quinn on gray paper and the skin tones came out just as clean as they do on tan and as they do on white. And the reason that I especially chose toned paper is because it's a bit of a challenge um, for, for colored pencils to stand the, the tan toned paper test. You know, if the colors come out really nice and pure on, on toned paper, they're good pencils. You should, you should definitely um, give them a shot. So if there are no immediate questions, I'm ready to call Albert when you are. Are you talking to me? I am talking to you. I'm tagging. <laughs> I see. I hear mad, mad tagging. All right. Uh, people are asking for a list of the skin tone colors that you used. I, for the list of the skin tone colors that I used. All of them. All of Just them. Just by the set. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, I'm not going to give you a list because that's not actually how I work. I've pre-selected a whole bunch of colors. I don't know which ones are the skin tones and which ones are not. They're just the colors that spoke to me, but I will be calling them out as I use them. So it's not a list. This isn't a formula. This is, this is art and it happens organically. It happens naturally. I will talk you through the decisions that I'm making and I will be calling out every single color. And after the stream, if you would like, I can make a list of all the colors that I've used and post it in my Facebook group. And the colors that I used on, on this one, you can play the video back and they all actually show up on the screen. And if you wish, tech support? Me? Yes. If you wish, you can move me over to the center and zoom in more on this part because we'll be working on this face. Oh. Ooh. You have a need for my tech skills. I have a need for your tech skills. That's right. Uh, so what do you want me to do? I want this face. Over here. Yeah, and you want it zoomed in? A little bit. Mm. If it's possible. If not, if not, I don't, I'm not that demanding. Well. Just a little bit demanding. You're actually not that demanding. Why is it that 100% of the time I zoom in the wrong You direction? zoom in the wrong direction. That is very true, you do. Okay. How's that? That looks great. Actually, you, that's the, not, I haven't changed anything. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't actually didn't? set it. It looks like it's zoomed. No, it's not. I'm doing it in the preview. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, that's now perfect. Now how's that? Is that good? That's good. But you're not going to share the screen with me. Oh, you want me to share the screen with you? Aren't you going to be on the screen while we call it's not Albert? My live stream. It's your live stream. Yes, but you will be the one asking most of the questions, uh, so people should see your face when that happens. Okay. All right. Hold on. Okay. So in that case. So I will be interrupting the, the interview to call out the, the colors. So I, I apologize in advance to both Tech Support and Albert. Uh, but this is a, a pencil review, so it, it is quite important that I call out the colors. I'm totally off the, off the chain. <laughs> <Hang on>. <laughs> <laughs> I got all just, I got all messed up by Nightbot going crazy in the chat. Oh, but he's okay now. He's tamed. There's. Oops. Are we good? Oh, yeah, that looks great. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Okay, that's good. All right. I'm make let's, faces at the camera now. It's called a man. Um. Do we want to say anything about giveaways? We will have three giveaways during the show. Um, each giveaway will produce a winner. We'll have three different winners at the end. We'll have our first giveaway after the interview. 
and then we'll we'll space out the other two from that moment on till the end of the show so on that note also please tell your friends if you belong to facebook groups or if you just have friends that you know on other social media tell them that this is happening because i've had so many people text me today saying thank you so much for posting that reminder i almost missed it i thought it was on sunday or i thought it already happened like people don't actually know when things are happening because the the youtube bell isn't very reliable so please do spread the word tell everyone that you know that this is happening and that we will have three giveaways We'll have three winners and each of the winners will get a pencil set sent to them directly from Black Widow Pencils and we'll have Albert tell us more about it um, as we get him on the phone. Okay. She keeps telling me to get him on the phone. Yes, yes, yes. Well, <laughs> I am excited to hear from the man. <laughs> okay. This, this, okay is, this, this is the technology part. This is the first part of tech support's tech supportiness where I spent the afternoon installing software and creating a virtual router for audio routing inside of my laptop here so that I can run Skype out through the mixer so that you all don't have to have me with my phone held up to my microphone like we've been doing recently. So the audio quality should be pristine, but in order to monitor that, we have to turn off these mics and instead we'll be listening through these things so that these what are these things? Headphones? Head headphones? Earpods? AirPods? AirPods? Whatever I call these them fancy AirPods, white Apple devices are, that's what we'll be listening to so that we don't end up with an audio loop of the, the voice. Anyway, I tested it. It should work. Yes. If it doesn't work, it's not my fault. It's not his fault. <laughs> and for my first colors, I'll be using the color Rust from the skin tone set and Foxy Brown from the original Black Window. All right, so let's do this. Oh, I'm so scared. You're so scared. <laughs> okay, microphone's off. Hello, how are you doing? Albert. Okay. Hello, Albert. Hello, how are you? Can you hear me? Uh oh. We can. Hang on. How's Am that better? He... Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear us? I can hear you loud and clear, guys. Perfect. Loud and clear. Hello. Perfect. And it's welcome. Working. You've done well, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You get a stamp of approval. That's good. That's good. I'm. I'm... So much for joining us. We we were so excited to hear from you and. We have so many okay. questions. There now are, there are a bunch of questions. Done well, Adrian. I've got a delay here. <laughs> I've yeah, got a yeah. Delay you're far away from us, so so there's a good chance that we're going to be talking over each other, which is fine. You know, I'll, if okay. you want, I can just like say over. Oh, Albert is okay. in Australia. Albert, are you still there? Can you hear? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm, I've got uh, there's quite a quite a big delay I've got here. Do you want me to hang up and call you back? Maybe it'll get better. Yeah, if you could, please. If okay, you could. we'll do. Let's try. It. Sure. All right. Well, the audio quality was good. Technology. Yes, Albert is in Melbourne, Australia, and for him, it's nine a.m. on Sunday morning. He's in the future. He's in the future. For us, it's. 7 p.m. on Saturday. All right, we're going to call again. Albert is in Melbourne, Australia. You there? Yes, sir. Is this any better? That's much better. Oh, fantastic. It's 7 p.m. Good, okay. I'm delaying it now, so it's working. Okay, uh, it sounds like... Oh. Yeah, it sounds like we're, we're still on in the background. If you could mute the, uh, the, the actual YouTube player. Oh, dear. Is any better? Hang on, I've just, just uh, muted the uh, the volume. Is that better? I'll do it. Yeah, sounds good. Can you hear us still? Yes, I can hear loud and clear, but there is that delay. It will remain, unfortunately. It's, it's the internet. Okay, we are well, in Chile, point. so our packets are probably going up to the United States and then across the ocean down to Sure. Sorry. Sure, that that's fine. We'll we'll just work it uh, the way we can. Yeah. Well, hello. 
Okay, it's nice to be here, guys, um, and all your um, your viewers here. Look, there's probably uh, a lot of new faces that I can see regarding names, and uh, and the old um, older um, uh, customers and uh, followers that I've got there. Uh, nice to see you again, guys. People are. Oh, hang on, Cindy's saying we sound tinny. Tinny. That's okay. I know how to. I know how to try and fix that. Hold on. Hold on. Who's tinny? Okay, Cindy, tell us if we sound better. It'll take you like a minute to hear that, but hopefully we'll sound better. <laughs> okay. Um, right, yeah, we have a lot of people here. We have a lot of questions. The chat's just going crazy. Uh, people are saying that they love your pencils. And one of the first questions that we've gotten is, how did you get into the pencil business? Like, did you just wake up one morning and you're like, you know what? I want to make some pencils. What? Well, what uh, what actually happened uh, when when I started this uh, my business off, uh, we were involved with uh, health and personal care, and in the, uh, more so in um, products. And it moved along nicely. Um, I, uh, I wanted uh, I got my team to go out there and look for new products uh, to try and maintain the same uh, niche uh, the, with the um, health and personal care. Uh, and they came back with beautiful things with uh, essential oil. Hey, Albert, and, uh, I'm Albert? Yeah, getting yeah, a yeah hang on. We, we got we to gotta pause here because now you're breaking up. Oh, dear. Uh, okay, <sighs> hang on. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually going to close out of the chat. I'm going to close out of that window. All right. Say something again. Yeah, can you hear me now? No, we now, yeah, now the audio quality is really bad. It's all distorted. Is um, it because of the internet? Connection? It's the internet again. Yeah, let me let me disconnect oh, and call you back, and maybe maybe we'll work again. All right. Okay. Sure. All right. Oh, sure thing. Sorry Ooh. about that, people. It's it's very difficult to get a good connection from that far away. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever used Skype. Every time you end a call, it says, how was this call? And one of the options was absolutely freaking terrible. <laughs> um, that's the option I'm going to select. We'll try this again. Adrian, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay, that sounds okay. better. Better, good. Yeah. All right, let's try this again. We didn't actually hear any of your response after, well, what happened was. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can you hear me? Oh, no. Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay, that sounds okay. better. Okay, yeah, uh, now. <laughs> let's hope, fingers crossed now. Fingers crossed. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, all right. right. Uh, so I'll start again. Um, originally, we started off with um, manufacturing health and personal care products for women, uh, and that was going along nicely. But I said to my team to go out there and look for uh, other products just to sort of uh, keep uh, keep the uh, momentum going. And they came back with the usual uh, products, uh, essential oils and uh, all those sort of things. And I thought, no, I want something a little bit different uh, so uh, that night I got home and I, uh, as a, uh, a man normally does, I poured a whiskey and I sat down there. I turned the tel telly on, television <laughs> on, and, uh, and I was just looking at the telly, not watching anything. And, uh, and there was something that caught my eye. Uh, it was a documentary on uh, adult colouring pencils. And I thought, what the hell are adult colouring pencils? And so I turned the volume back up and, uh, and I sat there for about, about an hour mesmerised by this fad that's hitting the uh, world and it was just going crazy and I thought well and then I, uh, I I did a bit more research and I found out about the health benefits that um, these um, this particular uh, hobby can give to people suffering with chronic pain or uh, anxiety and uh, and all those sort of terrible things that afflict people and I thought well this could well fit into our category with uh, health and personal care so uh, um, did did a bit of due diligence. My wife and I went to uh, to China to source out uh, some suppliers. Found a magnificent supplier there who's uh, looked after us, and he's got a uh, a very very good range of uh, colours and uh, 
uh, and he um, he's, uh, he does a good product, uh, obviously. So uh, yeah, so that's where the uh, Black Widow was born, and and I suppose this may answer some of the other questions. Um, uh, how did I come across the Black Widow name? Uh, I think it may have been my warp warp mind sense of humour that uh, I thought I wanted something completely different because, uh, and I think Lisa, you uh, both of you have t touched uh, part of the uh, issue was. A lot of the pencil sets out there now are a little bit boring with with, with regards to the design of the tins and the and the colours, Lisa. And I thought, let's smarten this concept up a little bit. And uh, and I just wanted something completely different. And I thought, um, let's let's target um, or, or do something with the wow factor. And that's where the first edition Black Widow pencil came out. Uh, the names of the pencils. I, uh, I thought, because I had a, a bit of a, a small following then, and uh, so I put it out to my followers uh, in my Facebook group, group and, uh, and I, we had a competition, and, uh, and they, there was a 20, it was a 24-piece set, and I just put it out to the guys, and they sent in their, their names, and I chose the, the best 24, and uh, that's where the, uh, the, the first names were born. And from there on, well, I thought, well, I'll uh, continue the, uh, the names with the 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 uh, key tones, and of course, this new set now. So, uh, so that's how we started and uh, how we continue the journey. It's fascinating. I love it. Fascinating. Uh, speaking the, of, the, the of the I'm going to use uh, tulip now and dark chocolate for my shadows. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> we picked up a little bit of distortion there, but it seems to have recovered. Uh, yes, I could hear everything. So this is just the nature of using Skype. So this is, it's interesting, you said you started this this search for a new product. You already had a company that was already manufacturing products. Do you still manufacture other products, or has all of your focus shifted over to Black Widow pencils? We've, yeah, we're still, we're still maintaining some of the, I think we've got two two items for the uh, health products, but uh, it's basically in the pencil. Okay, that's cool. And when did the first Black Widow set come out? How long ago are we talking about this whole process? We started uh, the first set coming out, I think, 2010, 15, early 2010 from memory. 2010? 2016. 16. Ah, 16. Yeah, we're still getting some, mm -hmm. some Skype distortion here. Okay. So let's all pray to the internet gods that it, <laughs> it, uh, it settles itself out. 2016. Nice yeah. Do you, do you think um, um, the other uh, method, um, what was the other method in, in place of Skype? Um, Zoom. Zoom. Do you think Zoom may have been better, Adrian? Shall we? Zoom might be better. Do you have a Zoom? So anyway, let's continue here because we've got everybody listening. If it gets bad and, so. and stays bad, I'll send you a Zoom link over Skype and you can join there. But for okay, now, let's just yeah, stay let's, here. Yeah. All right. Sure, so uh, sure. I'd like to ask the next questions. Um, I honestly didn't believe in the skin tone sets when I heard about them. I've seen people using them and I thought... How can you possibly have a skin tone set? You can't tell an artist what tones to use for the skin. Like we make decisions to make certain skin tones. You, like I expected them to be more like a makeup palette going from pale beige to dark brown. I'm like, but there are purple tones in the skin and green tones in the skin. And when I got the Black Widow uh, skin tone sets, I was blown away. Like the colors that are in there are so perfectly placed and they seem a little bit outrageous like the purples and the greens but i use them all the time especially the olive green so my question is how were you able to come up with such an ingenious palette are you an artist yourself or do you have an artist on the team helping you i am not I, i'm not an artist i've dabbled with uh, with um coloring but i have a uh, a friend that's in um U, the UK that knows quite a bit about the skin tones, and uh, uh, he uh, he sent me some colours that he would have thought would have been uh, sufficient to uh, to create these skin tones, and uh, and of course we we sort of 
I hummed and hard about whether we should do one complete set of 24 or two sets of 12. And I decided to go with the two sets of 12 because that would enable uh, customers or colorists to either choose the light or the dark tone set or both if they wanted to. Uh, so we, we decided to do that. There was a little bit of a, uh, uh, you know, um, outcry saying that, oh, why didn't you just do one complete 24-piece set? But I, I figured it would be a better option. And uh, and I think, I don't know about what your thoughts are, Lisa or Adrian, but I, I think... Uh, uh, it's working successfully, and the feedback that I'm getting is uh, it's, it's all positive. But yeah, look, I think um, with regards to how we chose the colours, uh, with my uh, with my contact, and uh, and I think uh, perhaps a little bit of fluke involved there, uh, <laughs> but we, uh, we came up with uh, with these colours, and uh, and the rest is history, I suppose. Oh, well, it, it's brilliant. I have absolutely no complaints. <laughs> <laughs> you have a new set coming out is that correct correct yes adrian um i've uh, i was talking with my manufacturer two day two days ago and we've hit another stumbling block i can't believe this 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 new pencil set has been in the in the system now for many many months and uh, i we were originally hoping to release these mid-july but uh, there's been a delay with there's been a, a fault fault with the tin boxes and they defective and they're going to run them through again. There's twenty thousand units that are, and they have to be replaced. So uh, okay. so that date now is blown out to mid July instead of mid June. So I'm, I'm about four weeks out. But yeah, they they they'll be coming out. It's been uh, it's been a hell of a uh, process. Uh, probably one of the hardest sets I've ever had to bring out. Not necessarily because of the uh, the colours or the design or the pencil names, but it's all in the manufacturing process. And of course, with the virus that came out, that sort of set us back by quite a bit too. Yeah. That's, that's actually one of the questions as well. Uh, yeah. yeah. came later. How, like, your business is manufacturing and distribution and it's not, like, necessarily retail, but I imagine that all of the supply chain issues have had an effect on you. Has that been a large effect or a small effect or like how, how have you weathered all of that? Uh, no, we've weathered it fairly well. We've, um, we anticip anticipated that um, the um, going into this category would, uh, would have our challenges because it is very, very competitive. But uh, but weathered the storm. Um, I think the fact that we've uh, built up a, a very good clientele and, uh, and a good support base uh, helped us along a little bit. And of course, with the feedback that we've been getting from our uh, from our customers and and the um, reviews that we've been getting, yeah, we've uh, we've held it out fairly well. Okay, well, that's good. Um, Glad to hear great that. to hear. Mm -hmm. So, so understanding that there's a delay in the manufacturing of the new set. Is there anything that you can share about it? Can you, you know, give the audience some hints the, about maybe the, some colors or anything? Oh, uh, look, um, the colors, there's 40. The, uh, when, when we um, befriended our uh, manufacturer from China, we said uh, to him that we want some unique, vivid, and uh, complete different new colors. And he, he said, uh, he was a bit weary because, you know, we were new kids on the block and uh, I had no idea what other pencil brands or that he uh, manufactures and, and, and I would never ever ask him, he'd never tell me anyway. But I said, I asked him if he could uh, get me a line of colours that would be a little bit different and he gave me 150 new colours and he said, these colours are uh, unique um, and... Um, Obviously, we can't put a patent or, or a trademark on any colours, but uh, uh, I've noticed some, <laughs> ironically, I've noticed some brands, and I won't mention the names, have started to copy some of the colours uh, oh. very, very closely. But, uh, but, you know, that's part of the game. You just can't, uh, you can't control that, and I accept that. And I suppose it's a, it's a pattern back for us for bringing these colours out. But uh, so we start off with 150 colours, and um, after these five sets that we brought out, this six set, the 48-piece set, I had, I had, um, I think I've only got about 20 or 30 odd colours left, but I chose the best out of the uh, the remainder of the colours. Now, these colours are a lot more lighter. I, I won't get into full detail. They're a bit lighter than the uh, the other sets, 
But uh, I'm sure that you guys will really take to it. Um, I, it's a little bit. Uh, I'm just trying to give the information out that I, I want to give out, and not to spoil the surprise sure, when they come sure. out. Sure, <laughs> don't want to be uh, you know, anticipating yeah, the, the concept, magic. Yeah, the concept is a little bit different to what uh, what the other five sets were. Uh, a little bit more conservative. Uh, the names are still good, so I'll leave it at that. And I think if you guys can hang off until mid-July when they are finally released, <laughs> uh, I'm sure you, you'll all like it. But in, in the interim, um, before the release date, uh, I, I'm having <laughs> – I had my photographer, photographer lined up to take uh, professional photos, but with the advent of, um, of the detect defective tin boxes, so that's now put on hold. But once I get – uh, proper professional photos done, say two or three weeks before the release date. I'll put them. I'll put them out there, and uh, you guys can drool over it. <laughs> before they release. Uh, we will. Looking forward to it. <laughs> you saw early on that Lisa's more. black pencil is this little tiny stubby thing. Is it possible oh. to buy individual pencils, or oh, Lisa. does she have to buy a, a new set? I'm sorry. Lisa, I'm Lisa, sorry. I, I, I was shocked. I was. I was shocked. I couldn't believe that you've worn them down. I am going to send you a truckload of them. <laughs> so don't worry about that. <laughs> I can, I can yeah. explain what happened. For, for people who aren't Lisa, who for whom you can't ship a truckload of pencils, uh, they, they're wanting to know if it is possible to buy individual pencils. It and is. if not now, is that something you should be interested in doing in the future? I'm so sorry. It, it was because of this. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hey guys, I, um, I have got open stack, stock. I've had open stock now for about oh, well over 12 months, uh, and I think um, the fact that I haven't advertised it, advertised it too much, I've, I've put posts on uh, on my website and also in my pa Facebook page. But yes, look, they are available, and if anyone is after any open stock, we've got open stock for for the uh, all the five set colours. Uh, they can email me at support at medihealth1.com. And I can uh, and now I send them from Australia, so there's about a four week waiting period because uh, I've tried to. I thought about putting them on on Amazon, selling the open stock on Amazon, but the fees that Amazon charge it just would make it too yeah, it's not uh, cost ineffective. So uh, so I can send them from Australia here at a good rate and affordable to all the uh, all you guys. So. Uh, so it's support at medihealth1.com. Uh, okay. yeah, and I, I will get that link from you at the end of our call, cool. and I'll sure. post it in the chat and in the video description. And, of course, the link sure. to the website and the Facebook group is in, sure. the, video sure. in the description. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure. When you have the new set available for distribution, Will you be selling it worldwide, limited to some countries? And we have a contingent of people here from Australia who want to know if you'll be selling it in regular brick and mortar stores in Australia. Oh. In Australia, I have three stores uh, that um, sell the pencils. So all three are in Melbourne, and perhaps I'll give you the uh, the links to the uh, to the stores uh, okay. from Australia. I know they do sell online also. So anyone that's in Australia, the state. Uh, they can order from uh, from three, these three retail stores, but um, globally, I will be selling all the pencils in US, Canada, UK, uh, France, Spain, Italy, and uh, Australia. Cool. So okay. uh, it'll be all those those countries. Now, I know that Amazon do send products. Away from these countries, uh, I've uh, I've got a bit of an issue with one of my customers that uh, is trying to get her pencils, uh, um, a pencil ordered to Finland. She's ordered in the past, but for some reason Amazon have uh, put a stop to it. So after uh, after this uh, uh, session, I'll get onto the phone and find out why they've um, they've stopped selling to Finland. So so there are there'll be a lot of countries outside of Amazon that they'll be able to send. When I lived in Poland, uh, we were in Poland at the time that the EU Schengen Group border checks were dissolved, so you could pass from any oh, yeah. Schengen country to any other Schengen country. And some enterprising mm -hmm. people in Poland set up a service where you could order from Amazon in the UK, 
and they had a courier service where people would drive back and forth between the UK and Poland, you know, stopping in like France or Germany or all these places along the way, and you could have them pick up your stuff and deliver it to you for a fairly nominal rate. It's it very enterprising. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea. Mm. Yeah. So any of you who are in the EU or in the Schengen group, you might be able to arrange for that Consider as well. Consider these ideas. Yeah. I mean, it was totally legal, yeah, yeah. Right. but it was, it was just like a nice little courier service. Yeah, yeah. Um, Michelle Scott, um, she asked whether there are, whether we'll be uh, whether we can send them to New Zealand. For some strange reason, Amazon do not sell uh, send products to uh, New Zealand. Even from Australia, they they won't uh, sell uh, send them to New Zealand. So, Michelle, sorry, I can't help you there. But the only way I can do it is uh, just contact me directly, and I can send them through uh, from uh, from Australia to you direct. And that's to, for anyone in New Zealand. Awesome. Do you have any plans for any pastel colors? It, it's it's in the um, we've got a list there uh, with several um, like it's it's a fairly long list I must admit but uh, pastels aren't at the top of the uh, of our web list at the moment but uh, we okay. just want to get this forty eight piece set on the go sure. up and running and then, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, look at the the next uh, line that we're going to bring out. All right, for my next colors, I'm moving on to really dark. This is mud, which is a dark brown. Space, which is a very deep purple. And Black Widow, which is black. And You're doing we'll a great job, Lisa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> People are interested in the composition of the pencils themselves. They're technically wax pencils, but they're, they're curious what that means. And is, is the wood that's used in them some special kind of wood, or is it just like pencil wood that's common in the industry the uh, the, the most common is two two common uh, types of wood they use so one is cedar and the other is bass we use the bass type of uh, uh, wood that, uh, for pencils and uh, what they do is to give it that black look it's they just um, they soak it in dye I'm not sure of the process but it, the, the dye goes through the entire wood grain to give it that black um, the black look uh, and I've seen black Coloured pencils, uh, and where they paint the uh, the colour black on the on the external face of the uh, the wooden barrel, but when you sharpen it, it looks a little bit terrible because you've got a um, you don't get that full effect with the black uh, the black pencil effect. So, uh, uh, and and regarding the core, yeah, it's a it's a wax wax based core. You there's two types. You can get a oily uh, oil oil uh, oil based or wax based. Uh, we prefer the wax base, but I don't think there's a lot of difference. I'm not that familiar with the oil base, but uh, some say that the oil is better than the wax. Others say the wax is better than the oil. So I think it's all goes down to your personal preference. Oh, wow. So you know a lot about the process. Have you have you been to the actual pencil factory? I've always wanted no? to see the inside of a pencil factory. What is it like? It's funny. It's funny you mentioned that, Lisa, because pre-COVID, my wife and I had all intentions to, to go and visit our supplier, ma our manufacturer, mm -hmm. and well, that's sort of now on hold. But uh, no, we haven't been as yet. Well, let me know as soon as that happens. I want photos. I'm actually very, very intrigued to find out how they go. I've seen, I've seen footage. My, uh -huh. my manufacturer is very guarded with, um, with letting people into his. Um, into his uh, factories, right. and I know that my wife's brother uh, went to visit him. Uh, I, I think a couple of years ago, and uh, and he gave him a tour of um, of the office, but he wouldn't take him into the factory. So he's very guarded, and I can understand why. Uh, you know, there could be people, it could be people going in with cameras, and who knows? But uh, yeah. I suppose oh, in that. You know, <laughs> I'll find you a YouTube video <laughs> okay. of how pencils are made, and we'll just we'll overlay the, the Black Widow word on top of it and we'll pretend. <laughs> it's like, for me, it's like going to a chocolate factory. Uh, <laughs> pencils for me, like I, I, I look at their composition, and it's just one of those things where I'm like, who created the machine that does <laughs> this? Oh, yes, yeah, it's amazing. It's the amazing. other thing I, uh, I'd like to touch on, uh, on, on guys, is... Um, the breakages, uh -huh. and I know that with with, with any um, brand you always get breakages. And uh, with what I've found with 
with ours, and I can't speak for the other brands, but what I've found with ours, a lot of customers are complaining, not a lot, but every so often you get a complaint that they've received the pencils and they several colours keep breaking when they sharpen the pencils. Mm-hmm. But uh, what I've found was, uh, and I've asked for photos of the package that the pencils are uh, sent in, and nine times out of ten they've been sent in, a, a, in an envelope. Uh, some some have got a uh, that sort of bubble wrap pattern, which is a little bit better. But others were just sent in a a normal, very light cardboard envelope, which offers no protection to the pencils at all. Now I've uh, I've broached the subject with Amazon uh, several times about this, but uh, I have to be careful now because the last time I uh, I complained about it, they imposed a a penalty on us whereby they wanted us to package each individual set in bubble wrap and uh, it had to pass a, um, I, can't, I think it was a, um, a drop test and it really imposed a lot more expense onto our, um, onto our pencils. Uh, so I'm a little bit careful with what I say to Amazon, but uh, what I can say to all you guys out there, if you do get a, um, an order delivered and it's in an envelope and it has got breakages, do me a favour and just call customer support and tell them that you weren't pleased with the way they packaged it because it's a coloured pencil. Even though it's in a coloured tin, uh, it's uh, it's a coloured pencil. They should put them in a cardboard box with a little bit of uh, wrapping inside. But uh, yeah. but it's just a little thing. And the other thing also, guys, um, make sure your pencil sharpeners are sharp. I had yes. a return. From, yes, I learned this the I hard way. A, I can't believe this. I'll share this with you. I had, I had a return to it was the the Scorpion set and the Cobra set from a customer in Australia here, and uh, and the uh, the reason was they were uh, defective. They were breaking. Now I opened the tins up. They they returned them to me here in Melbourne. I opened the tin up and I had a look at the pencils. Oh my God! That it looked like they used an axe on them to sharpen them. They were, <laughs> absolutely woeful so and and people think that the pencil sharpener is sharp but nine times out of ten it's not uh yes, so people uh, don't it, realize that you can replace the little blades yes that's right yeah you can exactly yes i mean i know the blade comes off but like where would you buy those wasn't it cheaper just to buy a new pencil um, sharpener a lot of pencil sharpeners now are sold with a little kit huh. of actual yeah. blades How modern. and i think you can buy them separately as well yeah, and they're not like, you know, you can buy the little penny dreadfuls for 20 cents or you can buy the uh, yeah. expensive versions for, um, for you know, uh, 20 or $30. And to be honest, I've uh, all I use with my pencils is a, is a battery-operated Regal. And it I have never, ever had a problem with uh, sharpening it. It's fantastic. So, And it's only me, I suppose, but uh, if you guys want to do... Uh, just try a battery operated one. I think I they're think marvelous. Idea. Again, it's yeah, again, it's your own personal preference. And if you are using a manual one, the best way to uh, potentially stop any breakages is to hold the pencil and turn the sharpener. Hold the pencil close to the point oh, and turn the sharpener. Yeah. Yes. So you're not twisting the if turning the pencil you tend to uh, tend to twist the pencil, which may cause a, a snap in the core. So always turn the uh, pencil sharpener, not the pencil. You'll find that you'll uh, you'll really notice the difference with regarding really the breakages. It's clear that you care very much about the quality of your product, yes. which is refreshing to yes. see. And I'm curious if you also get like nerded out in the science of it, like the the light fastness of the pencils or or any of the longer term quality measurement numbers? Yes, we do. I have. And um, I don't know whether most of your um, the guys out here today realize that uh, our uh, skin tone pencils have got fo- light fast ratings. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to put a stamp on the uh, on the actual pencil because uh, I'm trying to run out of all the old stock that I've got before I ask my manufacturer to actually include the the, the ratings on each individual pencil. But if you wanted to find the right rating on uh, on the skin tones, if they go to, if you go to our website and scroll down, there is a section there where you can uh, see what each pencil, how each pencil performs with the uh, with the ratings. But they have got light fast ratings. 
Fantastic. That, that's only on the on the skin tone. It's not yeah. necessarily on the other three uh, pencil sets. Okay. Will you always be coming out with new sets and colors, and will you keep the current sets in production, or do you ever think that you might like retire a set or or release a big bulky set that has every pencil you've ever created? Specialty sets. There is. Uh, Lisa Matrakin said. <laughs> <laughs> it will be all purple and orange and black. There is a, yeah. there is a, I, I'm, I'm getting a lot of feedback from our customers. That they'd love to have one complete set, uh, in, which includes all, all six pencils. Uh, that's down the track, I think. Um, at the point, this point, look, we've got five sets that are on the market now. The sixth set is coming out. And uh, let's let the dust settle, and um, and in time I'll uh, I'll let you guys know my our intentions and what we're uh, what's he's what we've got uh, in store for the future. <laughs> he's both a tease and a business person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have one general question and then one closing question. The general mm -hmm. question is just if people have more questions in the days to come, what's the best place for them to ask them? Facebook group. Website. Facebook. Facebook, Facebook's good. Um, like they can Facebook. PM me or they can email me with um, with any questions. I'm I'm always open to questions. In fact, I I love um, interacting with people with their uh, well, whether it be issues or compliments or uh, or you know agro uh, customers that uh, <laughs> keep getting <laughs> broken pencils. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, no problem about that, Adrian. Um, they can just contact me on on Facebook or email. Okay, cool. Wonderful. Then the last question is, uh, if you could tell us a little bit about the giveaway today. We'll have three winners. Um, what will they be receiving? Okay, Adrian, what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to offer these three sets, these new 48-piece sets to the three winners. Wow. Um, now, what I can do, and unfortunately, as I said, uh, they'll be released in July, but once we've got the winners, Lisa will send me the uh, the details of the, cast, the the winners, and I can then send those forward those on to the to the uh, the winners. So they'll just have to they'll just have to wait until July before they get, get worth their waiting prize. For. Oh yeah, it's totally worth waiting for. Mm -hmm. I'm sure people will yeah. understand too, and the excitement of winning something today and just knowing that it's coming in the future. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much for your time today. Before we wrap up, is there anything that you'd like to say to everybody who's watching? No, all, all the only, the most important thing is all you guys stay safe. I mean, we're still not out of the woods uh, with this COVID virus. Um, I'm hoping that perhaps um, they'll find a, a cure for it first or, uh, or some form of um, drug that'll um, fix us all up. But it's a... Yeah, th th that's all I'd like to say. Is, and thank you all for your support. Uh, without you guys, we, we wouldn't be here. I, I, um, I hear all your uh, frustrations. Uh, on, and I sort of tap into most um, colorist groups uh, and I can hear you read uh, the frustrations. Of, but, but take it out on me. Uh, if you've got any problems, please contact me. If you, rather than go direct to Amazon, give me a call because I'm here to help all of you guys. Uh, no, nothing's a problem with us here, so uh, you know we're here to here to help, and and as I said, we back our products to the hilt. I see that you do. And if 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 you do if you do get duplicates, uh, because machines are uh, machines and they do make mistakes, and if you do get a duplicate color or two colors in um, in one set, let me know and I'll send you the replacement color. So there's no problem at all. Fantastic. Cool. Okay, so you. I will. Uh, I'll send you a message after we get off the call. I'll get the contact email and the addresses for the Melbourne stores, and I'll post those in the video description for everybody who's watching. Perfect. Perfect. All Thanks, right. Adrian. Thank you very much. Thank you have you a great, so great rest of your day. I'll, Bye. I'll will, and you two guys and Lisa, you're doing a fantastic job. I'm mesmerized by your coloring. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll be right. here till the till, till the uh, duration. So guys, keep keep the questions coming. I don't type as fast as you guys, so uh, I'll do my <laughs> best to keep up. <laughs> thank, thank you so, so much. much. All, right, All right, thank, thank you, Albert. Albert. Okay, take care. See ya. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Albert Jones.
What a sweet guy. Oh, so nice. So, so cool. nice. I don't know anybody who's the head of any organization that I could call that would be like, yeah, I'll take care of whatever you need. Yeah, like the so way that nice. he cares about the product. I had no idea about the background of Black Widows, but it was very cool to learn that his, his background is, has always been, um, you know, health and, and support for mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. You know, that he was specifically looking not just, you know, what business can I start to make money, but what can I do to help people? And, and the fact that he recognized the coloring community as, as what we are and stepped in with his amazing product, just so refreshing. So, so refreshing. Amazing, amazing guy. So, shall we do our first giveaway now? We shall do our first giveaway. Okay, so this is Tech Support's giveaway. If you've been here before, <laughs> we were doing like the shout out numbers in the chat. Wait, 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 wait. Our color now is saffron. Continue. Shout out numbers <laughs> in the chat and we'll blah, 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 blah. No. No. Today, we have Nightbot, who has been much <laughs> Who's more Who's struck already. <laughs> okay, and, and this is leather. Sorry, I'm just like throwing colors in there because I'm... I am trying to match my vision for okay. this globe. So the color that Lisa is using right now is leather. leather. And the way that this is going to work, I have to actually get my my browser window back here because oh, I, I closed color. it I love this color. while the chat call thing was being all wonky. Hang on just a second here. Login. Uh, are you still with mud, tulip, saffron, dark chocolate? Yes. Okay, that was a question that just came. Yes, up. correct. All that is accurate. And then saffron and leather. I like to use leather as my final touch up on the skin because it's kind of a, a mustard color. It's a very, very soft glow. And it, it like what it does is it makes the skin look like there's natural light reflected off of it. I'm very impressed with this color. I used it a lot on the Harley Quinn drawing. Okay. The, right. the way this is going to work is everybody who wants to participate in the giveaway, you have to type the word leather, leather. into the chat. Leather is L-E-A-T-H-E-R. And you can probably figure it out because everybody's probably going to be typing leather into the chat. <laughs> so you can type leather into the chat. That will enroll you in the current giveaway. And we'll just let everybody type the word leather. And you can continue to chat about other stuff. Just make sure you type the word leather. And, and how long do they have? And I don't know. They'll probably get this message. It'll you know get out there in a minute. And oh, I see leather coming in. Leather. So they've already seen it. Leather. Yeah. So we'll just run this for another like three or four minutes. Yep. Just say leather, and then Nightbot will. I have this list of people scrolling by who have said the word leather, and then I will tell Nightbot to pick one of those people, and it will randomly pick one of the eligible people. Forty-three, forty-five, forty-eight. 52, oh my goodness. Wow. Um. Oh, I, am, I, <laughs> I am switching to reds for the hair. And the reds that I've selected are Deep Red, Blood Diamond, and something that's now too short to read. <laughs> but I also have Ladybug. Ladybug is my one and only color that keeps breaking when I sharpen it exactly like Albert described. And I think it's because of the way that they were shipped as well. These came, these were shipped to someone who then shipped it to me all the way to Chile. And oh, you, Lord knows that. I mean, if they yeah. got to Chile, it was like on a donkey through, yeah, through exactly. someplace so in Latin America for half a year. To have just one color that's all broken up inside is not that big of a deal. I did learn from some of you that if the pencils are warm, like actually physically warm in a warm room, they do behave better, they're less brittle and don't break so easily when you sharpen them. So I, I have been using this, this ladybug in a warm room near the fire and I've stopped having brittle problems with it. So I will be using it. I used it on the, um, on the hair on the smaller full, full size Black Widow that I showed you guys in the beginning of, of this lesson. So now I'm using this deep red and I'm applying it over the shadows that I already established on the hair. 
So if you were watching me coloring the face, my strategy is my strategy for skin tone is very similar every time that I do it. I start with the lighter highlights, which is why I tend to work on toned paper because then I can see my light um, areas very easily. So I tend to establish my white highlights first, and then I build up my tones with um, like a middle skin tone, then adding the shadows and adding the shadows until the structure of the face starts to emerge. With the hair, I actually work backwards. I like to add the deeper shadows first because those are the areas where a lot of color is lost. And then I add the really bright colors in the transition areas between the light and the dark. So here it's gonna be a lot of dark shadows, which I will probably keep building up with black uh, so that that red on the perimeter areas will stand out even better. And I, I can't, the reason that I told you that I can't give you a list of colors that I'll be using in the beginning is because that's not how my mind works. For me, I have to be balancing things as I'm working. Like if something feels right, I will go with my gut feeling. It's not a science, it's art. And art is fluid and, and organic and very much intuitive. So I always go with my gut feeling above anything else. And I don't look at the pencil names. I read them out to you guys so that you can color along. But um, I just go with, uh, with the color the way that it looks to me. I've been stamped. Is it time? You need to be quiet. Oh. <laughs> I've it, is time. it 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 was time. We had... We've maxed out, we're, well, we're not really maxed out, I'm but sorry. I've seen that the, the number of people, the people are probably still screaming leather in the chat, because if you say leather more often than once, it doesn't actually make you any more eligible. That's um, true, that's but, true, but it's fun to let them scream. Ah, leather! <laughs> okay. And you're lucky we gave you a nice word like leather. We could have given you... Yeah, anti-disestablishmentarianism. There. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be for the next giveaway. Okay, we have 65 people. Okay. If you want to be in it and you haven't done so already, this is your last chance to say the word leather because I am about to pick somebody. I am picking now. That'll just happen. <laughs> Beth Ann McGill. Beth Ann McGill is the first winner of tonight's set. Congratulations. Of brand new Black Widow pencils that don't even, well, they kind of exist. <laughs> <laughs> they exist. Just you the, the, want the, a set the, that doesn't exist. The tin boxes don't exist yet. <laughs> well, they also exist too, but not up to the quality that you deserve. You want the virtual pencil set. <laughs> Yay! All right. Congratulations, Please. Beth. Congratulations. In all seriousness, great gift super super excited for you please reach out to me after the show um on facebook is the best way to reach me if you do not have facebook please just um write me something in the comments of this video and i'll find a way to to reach you via some other social media or email she says she nearly fainted oh, i wish i could have seen that <laughs> And how are we doing on time? I imagine that we're totally not on schedule. Uh, it's like 10 minutes after 8. It's 10 minutes after 8. Okay, it's not as bad as no, I thought. No, we've still got 50 minutes. So we could do, we still have five zero minutes. 50, okay, yeah, so you said 15. Really? Yes, this stream goes until 8.26. Yeah, what is up with that? <laughs> All right, well, I think we can now take some time to catch up on the chat if there are any questions for me or if um, if we need to say hello to anyone, if there are any shout outs. Do we have shout outs today? I don't know. I think you do, don't you? <gasps> I, I think have you the have world's best shout, shout out. out. Um, you're gonna have to forgive me for this. I'll explain it afterwards. Riggs, Riggs. Hey, hey buddy, Riggs. Hey Riggs. Hi, how are you? He likes when you sing. Hi, he likes when I sing? Yeah. The Riggs is alive with the sound of kibble. <laughs> ah. Riggs is somebody's dog. Somebody, He's Evelyn's dog. Who's Evelyn? Yeah. Riggs is Evelyn's dog, and Riggs apparently super likes when I'm on the stream. He likes my voice. He comes and sits down, and I guess he like had a little freak out the other day because he could hear my voice, but I wasn't on the screen. Oh, you weren't even participating. We had um, we had a private gathering of my patrons, and tech support chose not to speak that day because it was it was like a lesson lesson that that I share with my patrons. So I was teaching, and tech support was just kind of sitting there. He wasn't on camera. 
and he wasn't saying anything. So as the story goes, Riggs came by to check out the stream, hang out for a little bit, and since tech support wasn't on, he just left. <laughs> so <laughs> he's not there for me. <laughs> so there you go. So uh, yeah, so hi Riggs. <laughs> um, Evelyn, let us know if that worked. <laughs> What a sweetheart, a dog that watches tech support. Albert just came back with those links and stuff, so I'll be posting those in the video oh, description wonderful. soon. Uh, and so the interesting thing about this bot, um, my original plan was that we would change the giveaway word, um, but the bot's actually smart enough to continue. People are still saying leather, apparently, which is cool. Okay, so he'll just um, pick this yeah, up. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna keep doing it. So if you wanna participate, if you join the chat anytime after this, just say the word leather. And just say it once, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you're not actually increasing your chances. The I bot could, already got I have it. the option to make Nightbot remove people who say the word more than once. No, but we I'm not going to do, do that, that because because you know whatever. So you want to say leather a thousand times, you know, let everybody. Yes. Whatever. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, join, say leather, and uh, we'll just be able to pick the next. The next person. Is when the, the bot time comes smart up. enough to not have duplicate winners? The because... bot actually, so I have this thing here that says it shows who's eligible and who is not. In fact, there are people who chose not to say the word leather who are in the chat, which is curious. Uh, Perhaps they already have the, <laughs> the, the unobtainable the, 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 set. the virtual non existent set. Um, yeah, so, so, Caitlin, if you want some Black Widows, just say the word leather. Yep. That's I mean, I'm all sure that there's. Patches, say the word leather. Yes. Who else? W. Leather. Leather. That's all you have to do. Adrian? Not me, Adrian. Other Adrian? We have another Adrian with us. Yeah, but he, he, he she? He oh, oh she. that's confusing. There are girl Adrians. There are girl Adrians, which is usually E-N-N-E, -N -N -E, and boy Adrians are usually I-A-N. This is I-E-N. Oh. Who knows? But Adrian, if you want to set a Black Widow pencils, just say the word leather. And the bot removed Beth Ann as being eligible. Oh, wonderful. So now we don't have to even deal with that. <laughs> nope. That's <laughs> great. I love this bot. This is a much better way of hurting cats than, than what we've done in the past. Question for you, Lisa. Yes. Have you used Pastel Matte? And did you like it for colored pencil? I have no idea what that is. Oh, that's funny. W is Albert. Albert, no, you can't participate. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hysterical if Albert won his own right. pencil set. We're like, great, ship it to yourself. Um, I, I, I need clarification on that on that question. I'm not sure of what we're talking about. The question that you just had for me, have I used pastel matte? Have you used pastel matte and did you like it for colored pencil? I, I just read what they write. Lady. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please explain what that is. I, I have no idea even what, 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 what it is. Is it a tool? Is it a pencil? Is it, is it a pencil sharpener? Pastel please, matte. Please, it's made of leather. Please clarify. When do leather. you want to do the next giveaway? Uh, you said we have 50 minutes. Let's do another one in 20. Uh, well, we now have 44 minutes. Let's do another one in 15. And then we'll do one to end the show with. Okay. Uh, so the picture that I'm coloring now, uh, which all of you have, I uh, have some interesting trivia about it. This is, this is a drawing that I made as I already explained in the beginning of the show, but the one that I'm actually coloring right now is unique. Some of you may have noticed that the badge, um, the patch that, she's, that she has on her suit mm. is different on the one that I have from the ones that you have. The page that's a public gift for everyone in my group has the Black Widow symbol, like her actual superhero symbol. This one has the Black Widow pencils logo. This is actually Albert's pencil logo because this one original coloring drawing and coloring will be complete and signed and shipped to Albert as a gift when it's finished so <laughs> he can frame it. Elf wants to know what is Nightbot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Nightbot is our new pet. Uh, Nightbot is a chat bot moderation bot for YouTube and Twitch and uh, you can go to nightbot.tv you can attach it to your channel and you can have it do things. So um, we're using it for its giveaway functionality because I, while the way that we were doing giveaways before worked, um, it was a lot of work and it was, it wasn't it was inaccurate smooth. and there was because the problem of the delay. Of, because of the delay and the problem with people 
picking the same number and then you had to figure out, did you pick a number somebody else picked and you pick a different number? And so I wanted to just take all of that away. Most giveaway bots on YouTube are designed for videos, not for live streams. And what they do is they, they pick a random comment from the comments in the video. And because we're a live stream, we can't do that. So Nightbot is the only bot that has, it can do random number generators, it can do uh, randomly select somebody who's chatted in the last X number of minutes, uh, or it can do this, this you know, self-select into the giveaway by typing in a keyword and then randomly select from everybody who said that. So we're testing it tonight. I think it's fantastic. Um, yes, I like I that as long it just as it's... cleanly produced a winner. Yeah, uh, so that's great. You can go to nightbot.tv if, uh, if you have a YouTube channel and you would like to use it. We actually got this from Emily. From Emily, correct. Yeah, Emily, Emily Illustrator, uh, her channel. I love watching her, her live streams. And she uses, she uses Nightbot. It actually, <laughs> it, it was funny. It, it flagged someone yesterday because they were, we were talking about the bug assault, shooting, shooting flies, and somebody was talking about the gun that they had with the rubber bands. And instead of shot, it put I, they mistyped it. So they put I instead of O mm -hmm. in the word shot, mm -hmm. and the bot just disqualified that. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, but it was a typo. Yeah. People really love the red hair. Pastel oh, matte is this. This color is amazing. This deep red color. It's like this ruby red. So rich. Pastel matte. Pastel matte is paper made of sandpaper. Paper made of... I have not tried this thing. This is entirely new to me. I will... So it's probably like research. ultra toothy. It's probably ultra toothy. I am a big fan of toothy paper. I will, I will do some research. It's a little bit difficult for me to get supplies here in Chile, especially now. Um, but... I will investigate this. We do have art stores. And what color are you using right now? I am using Deep Red Deep from Red. the Cobra set. Not Blood Diamond. Not Blood Diamond. I also have Blood Diamond here. And I'm actually switching to it next. And then Ladybug. Ladybug. Ladybug was going to be the keyword. Ladybug was going to be the keyword. Yeah. That's right. But then Leather happened. Okay. Yeah, I definitely love this. Uh, so it's called pastel matte. It's matte paper special for pastels. Oh, that sounds like something I need to find and try. But as soon as I, as I do and I test drive it, I will let you know. I have not tried this, this magical thing. It sounds cool. People are just going crazy in the chat about your work. Really? About the coloring. and You guys like it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yay! All right, so Blood Diamond now. Blood Diamond. Blood Diamond is very similar. It's a little bit. It's a little bit more on the pink side. If you look at the at the pencil itself, let's see how it behaves on paper. I think I used it um, on the on the other. The other. On the other. The other. <laughs> widow. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit more on the pink side. So I am I am going to use it a little bit here in the shadows. It's just as deep. I don't actually need a lot of this color because it's practically the same color, just a little bit different in, in its uh, personality. So actually, we don't need it at all. But I have this color. This is maybe Albert. Maybe you can answer this question. This is a red color from the Scorpion set. I don't have the name anymore, but it's number 33. Can you tell us what pencil this is, please? Yeah. <laughs> um. I probably, I may have them, uh, I have all the lids here for all the sets. This is the original one, the Black Widow. Um, this is the, the Cobra. And this is the Scorpion. And inside they have, um, they have the color samples. So actually, let's see, I'm a Scorpion. A Scorpion Red, I think is a Blood Red. Oh no, I put it so that you can just, you can show them in the whole ah, nice. window now. So all of them have that on the inside of the tins. A little color sample and the name. So I think it's blood red. That would make sense. Okay, so I'm going to use this blood red now and I'm going to bring it almost all the way to the edge. Sorry, I'm making so much noise. He's trying to find a place to quietly put that down. He's just like, just give that to me. I'll just put this on the ground. 
<laughs> during the during the call with Albert, uh, oh, I the, kept... the microphone that we were using is a little USB desk microphone that I have sitting right here in between <laughs> us. And Lisa's like clunking pencils down in front of it and like stomp, stomp, stomp. And I just like tapped her on the shoulder and pointed to it. She, <laughs> she said she was sorry. I thought I just heard like the dogs walking around, but they're still locked up, right? They, they're asleep in their room. Well, I don't know what was walking around in the other room. Oh. It might be one of our neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> might be looking for food. For firewood. firewood. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we have a friendly ghost. Okay, what's happening in the chat? What do people want to know? I don't know because I am going in and adding the contact info for oh, cool. Albert into the... I'm really loving these red colors. They're so rich. So very rich. There's one thing that I would like to correct myself on. In the original video that I did on the Harlequin coloring, that was my first real like big uh, coloring experience with Black Widows. And, and I say so in the video. So a lot of the colors, it was my first time trying them. And I was doing a comparison between Black Widow and Prismacolor. And of course, I, I'm very familiar with Prismacolor because I've been using them for years. And there was one thing that I said about Black Widows. Um, I said that they seem to be getting shorter faster than Prismacolors. Like I need to sharpen them more often. And when I sharpen them, the, the sharpener eats more of the pencil and then they're just getting smaller and smaller really fast. And I said, I'm not sure if that's just in my head or if it's real, I will keep you updated. And I do have an update on that. I, it was in fact in my head. The pencils are diminishing at the same rate as Prismacolors. There's nothing special about the sharpener eating them faster, except for this, um, this one pencil that I had that's broken inside. Um, and of course my, my black pencil that I destroyed on that the shadow okay. picture. A, tr a truckload of black pencils is coming. <laughs> a truckload. A truckload. <laughs> I hear it backing up to the house now. The, beep, the truck that's beep. coming from Australia. <laughs> hey, don't, th I've done that. You, you've done a, a truck ride from Australia to Chile? Uh, I, 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 okay. Uh, do, do tell. Let me explain. Please, uh, and this is by the way, Ladybug. When tech support was young in tech and I worked for a company called American President Lines. You've seen their containers, you've seen their ships, the big APL logo. They're now right, owned by right. a Japanese conglomerate, but they used to be headquartered out of Rotterdam or some European port. And I worked in their bill of lading release department because when you have cargo and it goes on a ship, there's a manifest that lists all the containers that are on the ship. And then when it gets to the other side and they're bringing the containers off, they match containers to the manifest. And sometimes there's a container on the ship that's not on the manifest. And sometimes there's a container on the manifest that's not on the ship. And when either of those things happen, it creates an exception in the system. And if your container, for example, is on the ship and not on the manifest, you don't get your container. Uh -huh. So my department was responsible for tracing the history of these containers back to their origin and figuring out where they fell off the distribution lists. And sometimes we couldn't figure it out. And so when we couldn't figure it out, our job was to get it to the destination via whatever means possible. And the, the, the way that we did that least often, it was only the, the method of last resort, was you would find an empty truck chassis that was previously listed as being inside the United States and somehow wound its way up in Europe. And you could put the cargo, you could put the container on that truck chassis and drive it across the Atlantic Ocean. Whoa. And the system was like, okay, cool, thanks. And then it showed up in <laughs> Europe and they could get their container. You're not kidding. I'm not kidding. I have actually trucked cargo <laughs> across the ocean. I stand corrected. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of amazing. I thought you were going to say like in a video game or something. No, no. American President Lions, Bill of Lading Release Department. <laughs> that was a cool job. So uh, the, one thing, the one thing that I did here, I added this leather, which is a skin tone color, to the edges of the hair when I wanted to glow just a little bit more. So just because something comes from a skin tone set doesn't mean that you have to use it only on skin tones. They're very beautiful colors to use anywhere on your, pic on your picture. Please do continue. If you were to recommend a set other than light skin tones for Emma as the, another Black Widow set to try, which one would you recommend? Let's see, let's see. I think I would go with, um, with the original Black Widow. Yeah. The first one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it has everything that you need. It's fun. 
It mm. has fun names. It's like all of them, really. Oh. I think I think all of them are amazing. I don't think that you need to have all five sets to, what to you complete saying? a coloring. However, <laughs> if you do have all five, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just trying to confuse them. Um, having all five is definitely a benefit. Like you saw, I just put all of my uh, similar interest pencils in the same jar and I don't care what set they came from. And they're all a little bit different. Just because one set has yellow doesn't mean that the yellow in the other set is the same. Everyone is completely different. So to really get the full range of colors, you should get all five sets. So I think that these things satisfy tech support's N plus one requirement. Yes. The requirement of when I need a particular thing, it is very important that I have that particular thing. So if I was a colorist, I would buy all five sets if I could. Six now. Six? Six. Well, no, Seven. No, 48 is coming sets. out. Um, Whoa. Simply to have the broadest number of options available to me yeah. at the time when, when I need a particular color. Yeah. Now I'm not a colorist, but I can tell you that that's exactly what I do with everything else. Everything else. In life. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely enjoying having having all of them. I don't think I would have had the same experience with Black Widows if I didn't just have all five sets dropped on me. Kablam! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it came, it came with a request. The, the five sets came as a gift, but they came with a request that I make the, the Harley Quinn video and that I, I do um, an honest review of them and, and that I share that review with you guys. And, and the rest is history. You guys, you guys know all that. Is it time for more leather? Well, if you've joined us sometime in the last few minutes, uh, the keyword to participate in the next giveaway, well, in all the giveaways for the remainder of the show, is the word leather. So if you have not already said the word leather in the chat, just join the chat, say the word leather, and you will be entered in the next giveaway, which will be in approximately six minutes. And you will be getting the new uh, Black Widow set called 48, which will be available in July. Is it actually called 48? It's called 48. Well, that's cool. Yeah. It saves yeah. me the trouble of counting. It's a very what would be cool funny movie. is if like the set was called 48 and it had like 47 pencils in right. it. <laughs> or 30. <laughs> yes, the set number 48, which has four but, you know, of the best. <laughs> if, you, if you call the set 48 and you deliver 44, I don't think anyone will count. I think you should call it 48 and deliver 50. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Albert's, Albert's never going to be on the show again. <laughs> call like, it 48 and deliver 96. What's wrong there with you? There you go. <laughs> deliver all of them. <laughs> Okay, so some, some other questions that I had um, for Albert that, that didn't make the cut into the final. Oh, we had so many questions. I'm sorry, those of you who are asking list. questions in the chat and even those of you who asked questions, uh, the patrons who asked questions that I didn't get to, there were yes. so many questions, just so too, many good questions. Too many, just too many. Difficult to weave them all together. But now we know that we can just ask Albert in his Facebook group, which is, of course, listed in the video description, as are many other things. So. Um, right now or after the show, do check out the video description for all the links, the links to the videos that I mentioned, Albert's website, his um, Facebook group. Just, there's uh, Actually, all the links to the pencils are in the video description as well, and all the other tools that I use in my studio are uh, also linked in the video description. So you don't have to go searching for stuff on Amazon. You can just click the links. Cat ho! Cat ho! New people are like, what did just happen? All right, leather? Four minutes. Four minutes. You are terrible at doing assessments of time. I'm sorry, especially when I'm drawing, come on. Like, normally it's the other way around though, normally time passes. That's true. I think I'm just excited about more giveaways. Oh, so what I was starting to say, one of the questions that- um, Oh, wait. You're just not gonna let me, let me address sorry, that question. I'm sorry, because I keep forgetting. What? Number 33 is blood red. Blood red, okay. Yes, you yes. were right. Everybody in the chat was, was going on about it and oh, I was okay. remiss in relaying that information. Blood red. I will never okay. quit. Okay, cool. Now I forgot what I was saying. It's all your fault. <laughs> the question, the question that didn't make the cut. Well, many questions didn't make the cut. But one of the questions that didn't make the cut that I want to address is one of you was asking how to make your Black Widow pencils less scratchy. And the reason that I didn't make the cut is because I can't, um, with a clear conscience, accept that question because it would, it would be accepting the fact that Black Widows are scratchy and they're not. So, <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't phrase it that way. They are not at all scratchy. I've never had a problem with with my Black Widows being scratchy. 
However, any pencil brand can feel scratchy depending on your environment. So it is very specific. Um, whoever asked that question, please reach out to me privately and we can talk about, like I'll look at your setup and we can talk about the paper that you're using and the pencil sharpener that you're using. A lot of times it's just, it's too personal. Like the, the amount of variables that are in that equation, I can't possibly go over all of them. You could be applying too much pressure. Your pencils can be very cold if you're working in a place that is cold. So they are more scratchy. Um, it could be the paper um, type itself. If the paper is very shiny, any kind of a pencil will come across as scratchy. So for me, actually, one of the first things that I noticed about these pencils is how smooth they are. Um, so if, um, if you're not experiencing the, the smooth wax pencils, it's not because your set of them is somehow different. It's because the environment that you're using them in is different. And most of the time, it's the paper that you're using. Um, and of course, the other variables that we just talked about, like uh, how cold it is or how you sharpen the pencil. Uh, there were other questions about how to make a shading not have very visible sketch lines. And that too is a stylistic thing. It's not, it's not because of the tool, it's because of how you're applying the tool. So those are all things that I deal with in my streams and my tutorials, teaching you guys how to apply the tools um, in the best possible way to get the best possible results. So just because you have a certain tool doesn't mean that that tool will perform in the best possible way just on its own. You have to actually use it appropriately. And for that, you know, you, you practice and of course you get tips and experiences from other artists and colorists. So all great questions, um, but, um, but not, not really for Albert, <laughs> you know, for, for us to deal with in, uh, in our own coloring. Okay, so I think the face and the hair are done. I'm going to move on to the suit with some gray. But first, we're going to do a giveaway. But first, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to do a giveaway. The gray and, that I'm using is charcoal. Okay. And uh, on the off chance that the bot picks somebody, because we're just keeping the same keyword, um, if the bot picks somebody who is no longer in the chat, we will draw another name. Because I think you have to be okay. present to win. That's fair, right? I think that's fair. Yeah, that's totally fair. So if we call your name out and you are not here, well, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. We have 82 eligible users, wow. trying to find my mouse, and... Uh, and the winner is... Janine Ennis. <gasps> Janine, congratulations. Yay! Janine, if you're here, say something. We have to wait. We have to wait. We have to wait. <laughs> that was for Riggs. Yay, Janine Yay! is here. Woo! Dun, 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 dun. Congratulations, Janine. You are the proud winner of a set of 48. The new Black Widow set. Please reach out to me on Facebook after the show and I'll make sure that you are in communication with Albert. Because he will be sending those out personally. With my truck. With your truck, yes, with Tech Support's <laughs> magical truck that can go. The Transoceanic <laughs> Trucking Company. <laughs> Uh, so even though I have black now, I'm still using the same strategy for building up the suit uh, because in this case, I want the suit to be lighter because just because of the composition that I have, I want more atmospheric perspective here. So I want a slightly diffused distance look to the suit. So it will be more gray um, and blue than black. Oh, I know that one. Things that are farther away look blue. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're an artiste. <laughs> in the, in the uh, most flexible sense of the word. <laughs> is is 110 pound cardstock too heavy for using with colored pencils? No, not at all. Not at all. It's, it's quite fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All 
All right, we will be doing one more giveaway at the end of the show. So everybody, please stick around. And if you've just joined us for whatever reason, uh, your opportunity, and I'll announce this again, you can say leather in the chat. But again, if you've already said leather at any point since the first giveaway, you're already enrolled. We have 81 people still enrolled. No need to say it again. Yep. Unless you just like saying leather, you're welcome. You're welcome to say it as much as you want. But try and fit it into a sentence. Yes, you know, that's right. It like, I love the feel of, of Corinthian leather car yeah. seats or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so about, about the paper thing, it's interesting because the question, um, the question is if, if um, uh, thicker paper with, with more tooth, like at what point is it no longer okay for, for colored pencils? And it's, as the paper gets heavier and the tooth, the grain is, is thicker, like you can actually feel the texture of the paper on your fingers, um, the thicker and the, the toothier the paper, the better it is for things like watercolor or pastels. But it's not to say that you can't use colored pencils on them. You can use colored pencils on pretty much any surface as long as it actually picks up the pigment. I'm a huge fan of really toothy paper. It makes for an excellent effect. However, consider the printing. If your paper is so toothy that they, like you can feel it with the tips of your fingers, not even your fingernails, if you're printing something like this that's highly detailed, probably it won't even print on the paper. So for drawing, it's absolutely fine. But if your paper is so toothy that you're sacrificing the quality of the drawing that you're printing, then I would say your, your paper is too thick. Not because you can't uh, create really cool effects with pencils on them, but just because you won't be able to get the nice clean lines. So actually, even printing on watercolor paper is difficult um, because of that. Janine oh. is crying. No, oh, I'm sorry. So happy I'm that sorry. She we won. made her cry. I'm so happy that she won. Congratulations. Aww. This is fun. This is fun. Making people cry. <laughs> it's, it's even more fun when Nightbot doesn't kick people out of the chat. Right, for saying hello. <laughs> for saying, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> You've been disqualified from existing. For kicking our actual <laughs> friends out of the chat. <laughs> It was so <laughs> uh, what does GSM mean in terms of paper? Do you know? Uh, I imagine you do. GSM, um, I don't know. Will you please look it up? I don't remember all the abbreviations. The TLAs? <laughs> TLA stands for three letter acronym. <laughs> Recursive humor. Who's a dork? <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh, there was a question about the GSM for the Strathmore paper, and I don't know what that means. I will actually bring the paper that I use. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I will sit here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Mm. Keep working on that gray. <clears throat> la, la, la. La, la, la. Hello, and people on my mission. Hello, and welcome. I don't my sound like that. Lisa Metropolitan, and I am hearing you. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> How do I go? Are you, are you done? Is it complete? I did all of that. Oh, it's lovely. It's wonderful, it's lovely. isn't it? All right, this is the actual paper that I used. This is the... Grams per square meter. Because square in, me because everything yeah. else is like 110 pounds. Everyone's like, well, I don't even know what that means. Yeah, look, it's 80... Grams per square meter. 80 pounds, which is the same as 118 grams per square meter. Oh, that's so... Dude, the metric system... Like, all of you who are here from the U.S., I apologize, but, <laughs> like, I bake, and it's like, oh, one and a quarter cups of flour. It's like, is that packed? Is it spooned and leveled? You know, you know what? One and a quarter cups of flour is X number of grams. You get a scale, you put a bowl, you hit tear. You put that number of grams in, and you don't have to worry about it's it. it's so much nicer. It's so much better to cook by mass. It's not weight. It's mass. Yes, it's different. I don't know. I can't tell you how, but it's different. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, meters grams, kilometers, all of that stuff. Even in Elite Dangerous, the game that I play, mm -hmm. like I was able Space to calculate game. the speed of light because I'm traveling in light seconds as I'm traveling between stars. And then when I get down to 0.1 light seconds, it shifts to 30 megameters, um, which a megameter being a thousand, thousand, so a thousand kilometers. And then it kicks, it's, it just makes so much more sense. I'll it stop. makes It makes a lot more sense. Anyway, what is it, 118? It's 118, correct. Both of them? Both of them. Yes, they are identical. The only difference is in color. This is the tan. It, it has this dude on the cover. And this is the gray. It has this girl on the cover. So if you're located in a place that doesn't use the metric system, just teach yourself. Yes. Just Your life will be so much easier. And buy a digital scale and start cooking by weight. Yes. 
well, baking really, cooking, it doesn't really matter because you're like, really, it's like a, you know, 2.2 2 kilos of steak. Oh, it's just <laughs> steak. <laughs> well, goes actually, on the grill. that would be 2.2 kilos would be a lot. A kilo is 2.2 2 pounds. It's still a lot. Half a kilo. Yeah, I don't really do anything with weight when I cook. No. But but you do with... You can tell by the size of the plates of food that she gives me. <laughs> She's like, like well, I, we have plates that are this big. She fills the entire plate. I'm like, I don't need to eat all of that. She's like, but you can't but have empty does. spots on the plate. She does well, anyway. Put it on a smaller plate. Because I learned if, you, if there's food on the plate, you eat it. But when I get so on a smaller plate, it. she's like, oh. Like that. I don't think I've ever made that noise. <laughs> <laughs> in, in your soul place, you have. Yeah. The other thing I try to explain to her is that like, you can always feed me smaller portions, and if I'm hungry, I can go get seconds. But he doesn't. He because goes she and gets me dessert. Like <laughs> oh, we made jalapeno <gasps> cornbread? Okay. Oh, right. oh okay, okay. I'm going to change your guys' world. Okay. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Change their world. Okay. So jalapeno cornbread. Um, I was gonna make jalapeno cheddar cornbread, but I decided to just do jalapeno cornbread. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you please move her over a little bit more so we see more of her body? Sure. <laughs> totally down for that. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> All right, temporarily. A um, little bit to the right. Okay, I gotta switch just to her so I can edit this a little bit to the right so you can see more of her body. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, How's that's that? good, that's good, that's perfect. Okay, we bought Diced jalapenos that were in brine rather than in water. So they were a little bit saltier. But it was okay because sweet and salt is still good. So I made a, a jalapeno cornbread. And then last night for dessert, we put, we like opened it up and heated it up and then with put butter. it in a bowl with some, it had butter on it too? It had butter on so it. So yeah. opened up the jalapeno cornbread, buttered it, heated it, whatever, put it in a bowl and then put chocolate ice cream on top of it. So you had, it was like chocolate brownie ice cream? Ch chocolate brownie ice cream with actual brownie chunks in it. Yeah, so it had like this, the, the cornbread wasn't super sweet, so it had a little bit of savory in it. It had the saltiness of it, and you had the saltiness of the ice cream, and then the spicy of the jalapenos. Ridiculous. So we're really? gonna have more after the show. Ridiculous, yes. So that's my reward for not totally breaking the show. <laughs> I get to go have some jalapeno cornbread, with chocolate jalapeno brownie cornbread. ice cream for dessert. Yeah. Mm. So, so good. Cornbread is ridiculously easy to make as well. Um, we were surprised. We are You're fast, very fast. So we're we're. When was the last time we went shopping? A month ago. Uh, five weeks ago. So we're out of ice cream. Well, no, we're out of cookies. We have yeah, we're out of cookies. <laughs> we're on we, our last thing, ice cream. Yes, yeah, so we have um, for tonight and tomorrow. So on Tuesday we're going. So I I started baking cornbread because that makes a really nice just little nice thing to have for dessert. Except it also makes a really nice thing to have for an afternoon snack or for breakfast or for really any other time that you're like mmm cornbread. Yeah, cornbread is always cornbread so good. You can like put butter and like jam on it or it's, mm. uh, and it is. It's just unbelievably easy to make. It's like, you know, pour, mix, pour, bake. It's like the easiest thing. Oh, we made pancakes today? Oh, those pancakes were so good. We had seconds. Know. I today, had seconds. I never have seconds. Today was like magical pancake day. Yes. It, it, we made the pancakes the same way that we always make the pancakes, but something was different because it's like, I don't know if I've been mismeasuring or if I mismeasured something today, but it was a little bit more liquidy than normal. But they still got really fluffy. They got they really fluffy. They were so good. We had our normal number of pancakes, and then we were like, we're just going to kill the rest of those pancakes. Yeah. And we just mm. we had a whole seconds of pancakes, and mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Mm. It's a grown-up day. Mm. <laughs> All right, what's happening in this chat? Yes. <gasps> maple syrup on cornbread. Yes, we don't actually have maple yeah. syrup in this country, Not but we have, maple syrup. we have palm honey, which is kind of the same thing, sort of, except it's not made from maple trees. I'm not even really sure how it's made, nor is it honey. But it's... Well, it's good. It's very good. We'll it's leave it at that. very much like syrup. Yeah. Oh, they're all going crazy about the, the, the deliciousness of it. Well, you all have seen, if you're on Patreon, you all have seen that tech support bakes. Yes. Oh, Iselina, have you tried the cookie larva oh, recipe? Oh, yeah. We sent cookie, cookie larva, larva recipe to Iselina. Mm, on, the, oh. on the shopping list for next week, I've got um, so chocolate chips. Yeah, sure. But some baking chocolate. And Reese's peanut butter cups, if we can find them, because I want to make. I think we can. I think I've seen them. I want to make, like the the little mini peanut butter cups. I want to make Reese's peanut butter cup cookies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're getting way too excited over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna work on this. Agave on this nectar. Patch. I don't think we have. It might be. I'm gonna go get the Agave palm honey thing. Agave nectar, maybe. 
cornbread honey. They don't have cornmeal there? What do you mean? Corn flour? Corn flour and cornmeal is... Okay, there's probably somebody in the chat who's gonna tell me that cornmeal and corn flour are not the same thing, but as far as I'm concerned, they are. You take corn, you dry right. it up, you grind it up, and that's cornmeal. So that should work just fine. I'll be right back. After these messages. All right, in the meantime, I'm using my white charcoal for this patch because I wanted to have that perfect Black Widow uh, logo background. So white charcoal. A white pencil will also work for my white from the Black Widow set. I have Casper, and I think we also have, um, the other one is called Snow from the Skin Tone sets. And of course we'll use black and red and a little bit of gray for the shadow. All right. Oh my God, you brought tasty pastries, pasty pastries. Okay, this is pine, pine <laughs> uh, This is pre-cooked yellow cornmeal. It actually says so in English. Pre-cooked yellow cornmeal, but in Spanish it says harina de maíz. Harina is flour. So harina de maíz, maíz, is, maíz, is, maíz is, is corn, corn. Um, or harina de trigo, which is flour from wheat. from wheat. So I'm gonna stand by the fact that cornmeal and corn flour are the exact same thing. Tasty wheat. This, miel de palma. Not from bees. Miel is honey. It's funny, they, they go out to the effort of telling you that it's gluten free, you think? <laughs> I don't think there's any gluten in that. Anyway, I have no idea what this is made from, uh, but it has palm trees on it, and it, miel means honey, so it's palm honey. Yep, and it's delicious. No palm was destroyed in the making of palm honey. Okay, that's oh. nice. Do they just like, ask them nicely? Ingredients, savia de palma, glucose. So, oh, really? I hate when they do that. Why? It's palm honey with sugar and... <laughs> Other sugars added to it. Of course. Because food coloring and a palm honey taste. <laughs> Tell them about the natural uh, fruit juices that we have. Hugos oh, naturales. Chileans love Hugos naturales. It's, it's, it's like natural juices. And so you go in and you're like, oh yeah, I'd like a natural. When we first moved here, we, were, we had this girl kind of helping us get situated. So she would take us out and she was translating between English and Spanish and taking us to like the stores where we were buying all our furniture for the house and stuff like that. Anyway, she would stop and she would order a fruit juice. And it's like, oh yeah, who goes naturales, natural naturales. juices. And, and she's like, it's so good for you because it's, it's so naturales. Good for you. And they literally, they like take a cup and they put like some concentrated fruit juice in it and then like a scoop of sugar. And yeah, then they like fill it with soda water. Sugar. But it's like literally like a half a cup or a cup of sugar. Just 120 grams. Like, but it's natural. Uh, um, yes, but it also has a whole bunch of sugar in it. Yeah. Okay, so cornmeal versus corn flour. Cornmeal may be of a slightly thicker consistency, um, but you know what? Whatever I got here works fine. Making the cornbread. <laughs> All right, I'm using my uh, Black Widow White now. This is Casper. And I'm using it for <laughs> Casper. <laughs> And I'm using it for the white highlights on the suit. And here it works well as the first layer as well as the second layer going over the gray works quite well, especially in the areas where I have this nice gradient from the gray to the actual paper color. So it will make for a nice little glow effect uh, because her suit is made out of some kind of a shiny material. That's probably leather. How much time do we have until our next leather event? Uh, when do you want to do it? Um, towards the end, but not the very end. Maybe 10 minutes before we, we call it a show? Well, if it's 10 minutes before, if this is going to be a two hour show, then there's nine minutes left. Oh, then we should do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's okay. Do it now. And I won't complete the suit, but I will walk them through the steps that they ah. need to complete it. Misha asked if anyone likes Stevia. So what yes, in theory, I like stevia, but there's a problem. Stevia has the same problem that this palm honey has. If you look on the ingredients list for stevia, you'll find that it contains sucralose, which, you know, so you can buy actual real stevia and it should just, only thing, only ingredient should be stevia. But if it's stevia plus sucralose, 
that's the the sweetener in NutraSweet, not mm -hmm. NutraSweet, NutraSweet. Um, so that's not stevia. That like defeats the whole purpose. Why don't you just put NutraSweet in your food? Yeah, you can't like stevia is an actual thing. You can't just call everything stevia. <sighs> uh, there's actually I was reading this article uh, about a month ago about um, fake honey. <gasps> And I had no idea that, like, you, you buy honey, and in Chile they also have it as well. It's like, they say it's honey from bees. And you think, oh, it's honey. You know, you say the bees and the honey and the whatever. Well, no. Apparently, a lot of this stuff is being imported from other countries, and it's mixed with, it's either honey of lower quality that they're, that they're doing some kind of modification to, to remove some of the impurities, but it's lower grade honey than what you're actually buying, or they mix it with other sweeteners and other additives, and then they still sell it as grade A honey from bees. Right. And there's, there's a certification agency in the United States that is supposed to certify that the honey is actually real honey. From real bees. From real bees, and they are certifying fake honey as being real honey and selling it in the stores. And the problem that this has is that honey is cheaper than actual honey. Um, and so the people who have bee colonies who are making real honey can't sell their honey product for enough money to make it worth their while. So most of the bee colonies in the United States are actually used strictly for pollination now. But it's really expensive. It's just led to this whole side industry of people stealing bee colonies and then yeah. selling them on the black market. It's crazy. But it has nothing to do with coloring. It, it's completely crazy. It has to do stevia I'm, and lies. I'm using a blue now called Starry Night. And I am... Sun, no. Starry Night. Starry Night. Okay, All we're right. going to do our final giveaway. Final giveaway. Yeah, so Elsa, she gets hers from a local beekeeper. If you can do that, if you have somebody in your community who raises bees... Buy honey from them because yes. bees are will dying, them. and those those people work really hard. Like we need bees. And if they keep bees die, bees. we die. Yes, quite literally, bees keep the world going. All right. Okay. Right. Leather. The giveaway. Sorry, leather. I got distracted. Leather, 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 leather. If you haven't already said leather in the chat, so this is your chance to say leather. We are about to do our final giveaway for a new set of Black Widow pencils from the new. We have 82 eligible users, going once, <laughs> going twice. I am about to click, oh, somebody says that her picture does not have the spider on the arm. Yes, we just, uh, oh, you might have just joined. I described, I explained why the spider is here. Only this page that I'm coloring has the spider on the arm because this is the actual Black Widow pencil logo. Oh, you can't share that. So I can't share that. This is a you get gift. Get trouble. Yes, this is <laughs> this is a gift for Albert. So for him personally, I drew the Black Widow logo on the picture that's going to him to for him to hang in his office or nice. in his fridge or whatever. Uh, but the page that is a public gift page just has the Black Widow character logo on it. Because otherwise, that would have been a copyright problem. Okay. That totally, I was like going once, and we're not actually going to do and... it. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm clicking the button now. <gasps> Who is it? Is it Albert? It's Elf. Elf. It's Elf. Yay. Congratulations. Elf, congratulations. Aren't you glad wow. you joined? Wow. Elf is our third winner. Yay. Yay. So cool. All right, so three winners, please reach out to me after the show and I will make sure to put you in contact with Albert so that you guys can work out the shipping details of your prize. And of course, when it actually happens, when the sets arrive and everything, I want to hear all about it. So please share your pictures and the unboxing and the colorings and all that fun stuff in my group and in Albert's group as well, in his Facebook group, uh, Black Widow Pencils. It's cool, this little Nightbot chat thing, like when, when the person wins, it actually starts a counter. So we could even say, you know, you have 60 seconds to acknowledge that you've won uh, or whatever. We just have to make sure that the, we build in the buffer time for the, for the... 
Does whatever. Does the does the bot actually say anything in the chat? I don't think it does. That'd be cool too. Oh. All right. So I will not have. I need about forty minutes to complete the suit. We certainly don't have that time. We have about four minutes. So I will just walk you through the steps of how I will complete it. So my first layer was gray and I used the color called charcoal. Then I added some white highlights with a white pencil. Now I'm using a blue called oh, Starry Night. It, it does. It does? It, it says, says it, it in the thing? chat. That's awesome. Oh, wonderful. Wow. All right. And then I'm adding blue over the areas that were gray so that I build up those colors. For my next one, I'm going to take a very dark brown, for instance, a Huntsman. Huntsman is a good color. Chalk Tone is also another, another really good color. And I will build up my really dark brown over the blue. And that will give me this muted dark gray effect, but it's not as flat as gray. Like I really like giving my dark tones body. So it's not just about creating something dark with black and gray. Uh, try to use different colors to build it up. So blue and brown um, are a safe way to go. You can add a little bit of red in there as well if you wish. And you can determine how dark you want this to be by just adding your layers and adding your layers until you get to the darkness level that you actually prefer. And then finally, for the very, very last part, I will take my actual black pencil and I will add um, the really dark shadows over the colors that I've already built up. And that will create a really nice kind of shiny leather effect, which is exactly what we were going for. Uh, so since I'm not going to be able to finish this live on the show, I will finish this on my own time and of course photograph it and post the, the results in my Facebook group Tom, the link to which is in the video description below. So then I would add, so I'm just, I'm just doing a really quick um, a, a demo of the layers that I'm adding. So then black goes on top over everything. And you may think that it's, it's a waste of time to, to have to build up all these layers, but it's not. It's the gradients that matter. It, in the areas where the black um, is transitioning to the white, the blue and the brown do show through and it allows your eye to, to really register this as a more realistic surface. Um, we use this technique, I use this technique in my last tutorial on dark skin tones, which I did exactly the same way, even though I ended up with an actual black pencil for my final shadows, I started with very light colors and I kept building up layers of lilac and brown until I got to the point where I could add actual true black shadows to the cheek and around the eye. And so this tutorial uh, went live a week ago, this week, on Tuesday, a few days ago, time is difficult. So if you haven't seen this yet, the link to that is in the video description. And next Tuesday, we are having a live stream, like a survival coloring live stream in the evening, where we will continue coloring this page together. So if you want to learn more about this building up the dark tones technique and specifically dark skin tones technique, you know, definitely watch the tutorial. It's only 10 minutes long. Um, but do join the stream on Tuesday, um, Tuesday evening, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. And we'll continue working on this page together. We'll do the shoulder and the back and the pearls. It will also show you pearl technique. So I think on that note, you can zoom me out a little bit. Not me, but my picture. Uh, so that we can show off what we were able to get done today. I hope this was useful. Stand by. And entertaining. And hang on, hang on. I'm trying to get the. I'm standing. I'm standing. I'm standing. Thing. You didn't give me any warning. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I know Zoom is hard for you. I'm out here being all techy and stuff. And supporty. Okay. How's that? Yay! Is that That's good? perfect. Okay. That's perfect. So um, there, there you go. There's my technique for coloring skin tones. As you noticed, I didn't just blindly use the skin tone set to create the skin tones. I just used Black Widow pencils. I prefer having them all, all the five sets, um, mixed together in little bundles, in gradients, all my blues together, all my greens together, all my reds together, and just go for the color that feels right for the page that I'm working on. So it's not enough 
like I've had people reach out to me asking me how to use the skin tone set and it's it doesn't work that way it's not like you can take a whole bunch of colors and plug them into your coloring and ta-da it's a skin tone that's realistic you do need to understand the the technique um so certainly for that you should continue learning you know I teach skin tones a lot there are a lot of other streamers that teach skin tone coloring and, and all sorts of other coloring. There's a lot of material up on YouTube, a lot of very talented artists and colorists who teach all sorts of different techniques. So keep learning and keep practicing and definitely give these pencils a shot. And congratulations to all three winners. I will be in touch with you. I may disappear to eat ice cream, but I will try to get in touch with you first. No, no, ice cream. <laughs> no, no, ice cream. Um, certainly, it's uh, it's getting late for us, so I may not respond until tomorrow morning. But please um, send me those messages, and I will hook you up with Albert, and you will get your pencils delivered to you in July. And we'll take last minute questions, comments, notes, requests, demands, and then we'll say goodbye. Everybody's saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, thank you, Albert, so much for joining us and for your amazing product and for putting so much heart and soul into it. It's it's not just pencils. It's it's love in a pencil box. <laughs> it's wonderful. Okay. I think that's it. All right. Well, good night and happy coloring. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>